I'm going to attach my reviews, some of the reviews my clients leave for me. Over Remember, here. during the first month, Nisha Pata clients wangapi, two clients, and they both rehired. Now, let's apply for jobs in Upwork even forever. Nothing. If you do not work on your proposals, your samples, work on your blog, blog. what's the trick in landing your very first job on Upwork? Is there a low season for article writing as it is with academic writing? All I know is that the total amount of money this guy paid me under one month was, uh, I think, 50 something thousand. That's the total. So June 59, under one month, guys. After that, I said, Me, I'm a writer all my life. And then he deposited $65. That's 6,500 Kenyan shillings in the escrow. But here is my first gig. It paid me $50. This could be good for me. Lately, I was feeling like I need a purpose. Hey besties, welcome back. Thank you so, so much for tuning in even today. I truly, truly hope that each and every one of you is doing well. I'm personally doing okay. Just in case you're new here, uh, my name is Laura. I am a Kenyan YouTuber and I'm best here in Nakuru. Guys, today I'm here with a very, very educational video. You guys know that I really, really love and enjoy sharing, especially when I'm sure about what I'm sharing. And today's topic is within my area and I'm so, so happy and glad to be sharing this with you. I expect that by the end of this video, some of you will be completely sold or pick one or two things from this video. On the other hand, today's video has been sponsored by Skillshare. Just in case you didn't know what Skillshare is, this is a platform with so many people. We are talking about thousands of people in number. Those people are in there to learn. Skillshare have got so many classes which are so educative. Now that today's video is about freelance writing, I just want to thank Skillshare classes that I took last year. Those of you who are here last year know that I took those classes. They really helped me. I had to edit my course. You know, for me, when I do anything in regards to freelance writing, I'm doing it for two. One, to improve my own skills and two, to improve the skills of the people that I train. They also offer classes such as interior design, logo design, graphic design, and all those other classes that I've been mentioning, like photography, website creation, illustration, etl. I got to discover some classes that I never knew that existed once I started exploring. Whatever classes you wish to take, just go on the search bar and write there. When you're taking classes about freelance writing, you do not have to only stick to one tutor. You can take a class with this tutor and take another class with another tutor, then compare your notes. They also have a variety such that uh, you can take a class on beginner freelance writing guide if you believe that you are a pro there are also classes for pros so you go step by step until where you want to be what i have for you is a link in my description box and the first a thousand of you that will click on that link will receive a one month free trial to skillshare premium membership it's also good to know if you want to subscribe to skillshare it will cost you less than ten dollars per month with an annual subscription so first of all let me introduce myself i am a web content writer i'm a creative writer i do ghost writing copywriting i do proofreading too since this video is all about freelance writing i feel like i should introduce some terms to you guys just in case some of you have never heard of them we are going to be using some terms some of them we are going to define them as we go but in case you hear me talking about upwork i just want you to know that this is a platform where us freelance writers go to get clients that's where we get our clients that's where we get our gigs where we send proposals and then the clients hire us through the platform. I'm only talking about Upwork because it's my main source of clients 
followed by my website so my instagram family asked me questions to help me know what to want to know from me and they really did an amazing job by the time i answer all these questions most of you will have all your questions answered question number one is freelance writing able to sustain your lifestyle yes it does sustain my lifestyle i live off of writing fully okay i know i also do youtube I create websites, I train writers, I also have a business, but I live off of writing. I chose to do that because I enjoy doing the work and it pays, so why not? Also, just for the sake of some of you who are very curious, guys, I'd just love to tell you that I'm not even doing the best. In my circle of friends, almost all of us are freelance writers. And guys, I have rich friends. I'm so proud to say that. I have rich friends. People buy vehicles. People buy lands off of writing money. And if you've been here for a while, you also know where I've come from to where I am. This couldn't be YouTube money because it takes time. This also can't be my business's money. Businesses take so long but i had started writing what i'm earning right now is not what i was earning then as my skills increase i also increase my charges i also utilize my skills i get more gigs also get high paying clients then i was just starting therefore i could just go for not really any client but the low paying clients because i was just starting i didn't have as good skills as i have right now Number Number two, is it true you can't add your experience on online work on a CV? These are facts, but it depends. For example, if you are applying for an online job, it's okay to add your online work history in your proposal. As we call them proposals, we do not call them CVs, we also call them a pitch. So you cannot apply a job as a doctor and be putting online work cv at you are a writer somewhere that's not just possible even us writers we do not include the jobs we did like i'm a doctor so i'm writing a proposal to a client who wants me to write and i'm putting there at i am a doctor no it's not possible unless you just happened to be a journalist you did journalism back in school and now you're doing writing those are two things that go just well together you did mass communication and you're now a writer those are two things that just go well together so if you're a journalist you can write that in your proposal but you cannot write in a CV, you're applying to be a doctor and writing there that I was a writer at this company. No, it doesn't work that way. But as in our proposals, it's very okay to write your job history as a writer in other companies. If you have a website and you write there your blogs, it's okay to attach the link to your website in that proposal. I don't know if you guys get if there's a website somewhere, for example me, I've written for so many websites and if you're writing a proposal in another job, it's okay to attach the link to all those websites that you've written for. I hope I'm clear on that. Number two, do you do academic writing? First of all, let me tell you guys what academic writing is in case some of you did not know. So the difference between academic writing and what I do, which is web content writing, creative writing and all that. In academic writing, you write materials such as essays, thesis, dissertations, assignments, term papers and all that. In article writing, you simply write blogs these are white papers even though i've worked with a client who wanted me to turn their essay into a white paper a white paper is like an article if you get a client and they're telling you to write them a white paper just know that they want you to write them an article so yeah I do not do academic writing at all but I have so many uncountable friends in my circle who do academic writing but I chose to do article writing yeah 
and then number three will there be an offer on your freelance writing course yaku ya kwanzia second half of the year itaokoa simply asking whether i'll have an offer on my course guys this is the thing i do not just have offers anyhow i have my business calendars for each of my businesses and in this year's calendar i think we only had three offers I already had two i'm a one i'm here to confirm but i think we have an offer somewhere in the next coming months but i promise you the course is worth only two thousand bob two thousand bob instead of waiting you can just enroll it's worth it i promise you Kwani, the storage is also is all, uh, nini already full so yeah yeah we have an offer coming actually but in the next coming months next what's the difference between ghostwriting and copywriting i'll explain this perfectly because i do both of them so let's start with ghostwriting a client hires me on upwork i already told you guys what upwork is remember so a client hires me on up and gives me a 10 articles contract i finish writing all the 10 articles and submit them to the client the client then posts all those articles or their company's website and they do not give me any credit they do not write their it is written by laura wendy no they do not they simply post them on their websites and when people read through them they really do not know who's behind the writing who's behind the articles they can only read them but they don't know who wrote them so simply i'm a ghostwriter i've written i've not received any credit about copywriting most uh, copywriting work deals with marketing and advertising you are writing you're doing a write-up to advertise something or to market something copyright now let me also tell you about creative writing in creative writing you express your original thoughts original your feelings most times as writers we do research before writing especially when we are writing educative or educational content but creative writing is all about expressing your feelings and your thoughts in the most original way you don't have to do research it might be a story you just a write-up story or something number That's five were writing. you always passionate about writing no i was never ever passionate about writing i started writing when i wanted to move out and i really was looking for a source of income so many of my friends were writing but i had no idea what writing was all about i did not even bother to go and ask them what it's all about and then it came to a time when i really wanted to move out and start living alone that's when i thought about writing so what i did i knew that i definitely needed training writing is not as easy i'm not scaring you away i'm just telling you the truth and it's not hard but trust me you either need training or you need guidance to do it and do it properly in such a way that it can pay your bills so i went online i have always been a fan of online anything to do with online i'm in so i went to facebook and guys forgive me for the noises of the children they're back from school and you all know how it goes so um i went on facebook um I saw someone offering a course. They look to be so efficient. I just trusted them by reading through their blogs and all that. Just the way I've written so many blogs on my website. That's the same way these people were. This is my role model actually. Let me just confess me. He's called Walter Akolo. I was so inspired. And again, most of my friends were doing academic writing. But when I did some research and weighed these two, I truly knew that I really wanted to do article writing and not academic writing. So please do your own research too. So I took the course. It was going for a whooping 4,000 Kenyan shillings. But I was completely sold. The course was so worth taking, so I really gained from it. During 
the course i became so passionate about writing extremely passionate Ext i can't even explain i found myself sleeping very late at night just doing research writing articles for my blog i first opened a free blog i had a free blog which was called beyond the talk with laura that was my free blog it's still there actually but now i have a paid writer's website so that's how i became passionate just by going through the course i think i just got the best trainer and mentor who installed a uh, courage and confidence in me next yeah. how do you write a proposal how is it supposed to be a general format so a proposal is like a cv that's what you write to a client when you want them to hire you for example on upwork clients post their job descriptions we go through them and if you feel like you are able to do that particular job you submit your proposal aka a cover letter so a proposal should be so simple you write a proposal the way you want someone you want to hire to write to you in very simple terms you do not want to read through a whole page from someone who's applying a job from you that's number one number two you want them to tell you what they are bringing to the table by that i just mean tell the client exactly what they want to hear what's their job description saying hi i want a content writer to write me um sell ranked articles on my website i also want them to be able to post for me the articles in my wordpress website what are you going to write in that proposal they want sell ranked articles so you're going to say that you're so good at sell writing that's the first thing number two if you have a wordpress website it's even a plus so you tell them actually have a wordpress website so posting your articles on your website will not be a problem that's a plus for sure but three this is where you apply your inner mind this client just mentioned that they have a website as a good passionate and dedicated writer you are going to ask them for the name of their website so that you can check it out and see their content that way the client will know that you are so interested not just in working to be paid but you are passionate about what you are doing everyone wants to employ someone who's passionate about what they are doing because they do it with one heart another example if i told the client attached their website link always ensure that you click on it or copy and paste it go and check their website out check their content quickly go through one of their blogs look at the design of their website just look at it just feel free through the website go through everything make your notes how many things have you noted maybe you'll come across an article that's almost the same with an article that you've ever written that's what you write in your proposal i've gone through your website i really love it i even love this specific article it talks about this i've written such an article for this company or this website let me attach it so you can have a look at it in simple terms clients just want to deal with people who look more genuine people who look like they know what they are doing another thing you can do a client's job description says they want articles in the weight loss niche how many people are going to send proposals to that they're also going to send yours but you'll only be hired if yours stands out so how do you make it stand out you can suggest topics to write you can suggest titles you can suggest keywords make yourself useful bring more value than others bring if you bring more value the client has no option but to employ the best to be very honest so i just have few because i know with this i can talk and talk until tomorrow i'm so passionate about this 
Can one do it while in an 8 to 5 job? By it, they mean freelance writing. Yes, you can. That's why it's called freelance work. You work remotely. You don't have to be at the same place working. You can work in the evening when you're back home, in the morning before you go to work, during the weekends, during your offs, during your free time at work. Okay? You can actually do it. Next, I don't know if it's number 10. Did you ever doubt your work when you didn't get clients? And finally, please tell us how your work experience was during your first month as a freelance writer. And I hope you know you are already an answered prayer to many of us. Pole for many questions, Lolo. I never got to doubt myself even when I started. Probably because I didn't stay too long before getting my first gig even though even though i got my first gig using my very last connect in upwork i'll never forget that so in case you don't know connects are like points which you use to bid for jobs in upwork so when you bid one job it might go with two three or four connects up to six connects Per job so when you bid so many jobs and they connect zinaisha and you've not gotten a job zikiisha you have to buy more kitambo they used to give us free connects nowadays you buy one connect at 15 shillings so the only way to go around it that you use connects at least get hired so that you can pay your bills and also buy more connects to bid more jobs so i used my last connect to get my gig my $50 gig <laughs> that's 5,000 bob and guys I was so happy then 5,000 was a lot of money to me those days it was a lot I'll just attach here my first gig plus the pay I went back today to Upwork to take this screenshot and I realized that I actually started living alone in the year 2019 all this while i've been thinking that i started living alone in 2018 but here is my first gig it paid me 50 dollars and and it was in 2019 and this same client so i've entered to my first month the experience so this first client hired me um, she had a hair company she still has the hair company in fact we still work together by the way so this lady has got a hair company she approached me she was also new in upward and then she puts 50 dollars in the escrow and uh, gives me this job i was so happy i did my best and delivered i was just fresh from the course i mean i was doing well after delivering that job i think she told me something like this is exactly <clears throat> she told me something this like this is exactly what I've been looking for in such a thing. And she told me, I'll rehire you. So she went on and added $180 in the escrow immediately and rehired me on another contract. That's a whole 18000 So you can imagine for a person who saw 5000 as a lot of money instantly called my friend my childhood friend she's called jemima i told her i'm moving in with you i'll help you to pay your bills then she was paying not so much rent like squeezy squeezy we've really upgraded so she used to pay just not so much rent so i could we we splitted i told her i just want someone to somewhere to i just want to go stay with you as i premiere this writing job and then i'll probably hammer after maybe one or two months because if during my first week on upwork i'm already bugging 18,000 plus 5,000. Huh? I was like, this money alone is enough to pay me my rent plus deposit. Because my dream then was living in a house worth 7,000 bob. That bed sitter I used to live in. So I moved in with my friend and guys, I worked so hard. After that, I got another client but this one had uh but this one wanted articles that talk about dildos but do what 
dildos and such stuff you guys and i wanted to explore all these niches he was so respectful and really just wanted consent he thought it well to ask me if i'm comfortable writing such articles before we start the contract and then he deposited 65 dollars that 6500 kenyan shillings in the escrow i did the work after that this guy gave me a contract how much i'll be attaching them here all i know is that the total amount of money this guy paid me under one month was uh i think 50 something thousand that's the total june 59 under one month guys after that i said me i'm a writer all my life i'm a writer writing is my con my my profession okay period point blank to me funga your chapter your profession <laughs> and that's how it went i hope that's how that was a little story but i'm going to do a story time of my journey and explain everything good to you guys i know you guys are going to enjoy that story time so just stay tuned yeah, these um, questions are many miss danica to boa under 25 minutes how can i start freelancing considering i know nothing about it this is so simple you enroll to my course because it is beginner friendly by beginner friendly i mean a course which will start by telling you exactly what freelance writing is and also familiarize you with the freelance writing before starting to coach you i'm that person i'm that person baby are there different and areas in article writing like particular areas that one can specialize in yes however when you're just starting i advise you to write article in as many niches as possible they're called niches Write articles about pets, about weight loss, about CG health, about write tech articles. If you're good with tech, write tech articles. Because um, in APAC, you'll get so many niches. You'll get so many clients in different niches. Beauty, lifestyle, I don't know what, what, marketing. Being a beginner, you really want a job, remember? So you need to have samples in every niche so that when you see this job, you attach a related sample. Attaching related samples also changia so much in being hired. It really changias. Who is it the client wants articles in beauty niche and you, you've attached tech niche samples and someone else has attached five articles in the beauty niche i at a higher you mean hey lolo what's the trick in landing your very first job on upwork because where the trick only apply jobs posted under five minutes in fact three minutes is good that's number one number two be fast at sending that proposal but again number three make sure that that proposal contains every single detail that i had mentioned offer something good to them and they will hire you how long can one take before securing a gig it can take you minutes to lifetime now for real i'm telling you this for real for real one thing with apwa once you've sent your proposal 10 minutes zikisha ujapata message your client wachana amesha hire mtu mwingine he's already hired someone else he, she is already hired someone else. Ten minutes, you apply for a job on Upwork. If they've hired you, you get an interview in your inbox immediately. Or after five, ten, kienda sana, client ako slow, ama abado, anakompea, wewe na writer mwingine kwa inbox, anakommunicate na wawili watatu, then way out, maybe 20 minutes. Ikienda sana, pass that. Now neza apply, for jobs in Upwork even forever. Nothing. If you do not work on your proposals, your samples, work on your blog, work on your writer's website. A bid. Can um, I start Upwork with my phone? No, you cannot. There's so many people who've wanted to pay for my course, but they didn't have a laptop. And I told them, no, I've even refunded some money. You cannot. You cannot train. You cannot even work. Writing job, ilipe rent, ikununulie nguo, 
ikulishe na simu huyo mtu atakuwa na kudanganya no it's it's very extremely impossible how to grow my skills as a writer that's part one of the question and then part two what mindset to have as a beginner do a lot of practice write a lot uzoe hata keyboard so that you can write 500 words in 15 minutes 20 minutes because sometimes you're going to have so much work to do you're you are going to be required to hit deadlines miraculously eh? client anaamka tu anasema bas mimi leo ndo nataka job yangu tena do a lot of practice do a lot of research one thing i know is that if you are passionate about writing hakuna mtu atakwambia fanya research you will join facebook groups you will do what you will google if you are passionate <laughs> unless you are not passionate is your course relevant to someone who wants to do academic writing no no in academic writing people do references citations and all that in articles unless a client has told you to cite or reference do not do it by the way uh, i am not blank in academic writing just that i chose the direction of article writing because i know that that's where i can be the best person how long did it take to grow your account and was it difficult by that you mean upwork account no it wasn't hard i never struggled at all because remember during the first month nishapata clients wangapi two clients and they both rehired me so how many wanazitanga nini how many how many reviews are those by the way i'm going to attach my reviews some of the reviews my clients leave for me over here so that you guys can see and those are already so many good reviews because i used to do good work i do good work me i don't joke with people's money when people pay me i do a good work the best that i can so nikifanya kitumbaya wejua tu that that's my best because me i do not me i do my best by the way i do my best and so it wasn't it wasn't a tingumu the only work i had is to write I used to wake up at 6 and sleep at around 12. So, I know I know I'm just bragging and not helping you at all. So the answer, the main answer is you as long as you are working, don't worry about growing the account. Is your reviews they'll just grow the account. With a new Upwork account, how can I start getting jobs? The same way, the same way. Proposal, timing, communication. I've I've not talked about communication be fluent talk sense don't throw words anyhow be very wise communicate straight to the point and they love when you communicate straight to the point and just be calm even your communication let it be let it flow calmly even in communication someone can actually read you so hey laura is there a low season for article writing as it is with academic writing no Now imagine when I chose article writing it's not like I knew I didn't know gani kona season then when I came into the industry I realized that articles we write for companies websites these are companies which are running on a daily academic writing depend mostly on students because they're writing dissertations thesis um essays assignments so when schools are closed that's when they say it's a low season for them but for articles unless things like covid hit and now companies close down that's the only way we can be affected and that simply affects everyone everyone else we write for magazines in fact in fact we might have high seasons because we write magazines we write newspapers and such stuff. i hope this has been educative as i thought it will be because guys this has been so interesting for me to make and i just want to thank you for watching this video um, pick one or two things i also offer a writing course uh, the link is always in my description box and in case you wonder you see this here this one this is my website it's always there in case you always wonder <laughs> so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for giving me an audience
Bye. He never answers me when I call him, makes me feel so lonely.